Hello, welcome back to my channel. And today we're going to look at a quick and easy way to make your hydroponic system even smarter. Have you ever been in a situation where you have to get quick access to your outlet or switch or timer to turn off the power? Let me show you this quick and easy trick. Turn off tower. Okay, turning off aeroponic tower. Just like that, at a command of a voice, your hydroponic system is off. Now having this tool is extremely helpful when you're investigating clogs in your hydroponic system. This is especially useful when you have to turn on and off the power or see if you clear the clog. Or perhaps we are high up in the air where you have to do maintenance on your hydroponic system and getting access to your hydroponic switch isn't so convenient. So having this tool under your belt makes it easier and quick access, especially directly from your phone. And if you want to turn it back on, turn on tower. Got it, turning on aeroponic tower. Just like that, as easy as a command of a voice. This is the Kasa Smart Wi-Fi Outdoor Plug. This has double outlets, weather resistance to IP64 rating standards, and you can control this device from anywhere in the world. And if you have a smartphone, you control it at a flick of a voice control. This doesn't require a voice hub like Google Home or Alexia. And you can set the schedule according to your needs whenever you want it and however you want it. So this is the Wi-Fi switch. It's pretty straightforward and pretty easy to use. It basically has two plugs, plug one, plug two. And it has two manual buttons. We can turn on and turn off this power to your outlets. Just like that. Oh. You also have an LED indicator, which I only use once where you indicated when it's connecting to a Wi-Fi access hub. This is pretty much when you use it at startup. So I basically had this device a couple months and it withstood a couple of dreadful storms and it held up pretty well. I haven't had any problems with any outage. Now, if you aren't using the plugs or both of them at the same time, the device does come with this rubber gasket, which I haven't pretty much used, but basically just put it back into one of those plugs and it'll keep that outlet secure from the weather. It's easy to lose this, so I recommend that you keep this at a safe place or you just either tie it up to your, your switch. So here is the brain and heart of everything on the, the device. This basically controls everything and all the functions. So here you already see that I have my smart plugs array name, my aeroponics tower and my NFT hydroponics. If you want to add a new device, especially going to the Kazai app, top, click the, the top right corner plus button and hit device. And then you have a, a whole wide range of smart devices that you can add. But here we're just looking at the smart plugs and then all the way at the bottom the smart plug outdoor the kp400 and then you go through the series of prompts and it'll tell you how to set it up it's pretty intuitive you see once you plug it in you'll see the green flashing light on your device and once you hit it hit the orange and green button and follow the command now i already had to set up so it's not going to find anything so let's go look at the Smart plugs. So here I'm looking at the aeroponics tower. You have a variety of icons you press, especially the on and off button. But if you go on the top right cl clog to get into setup, you can give your device a name and icon and an image. Be really uh, specific about the name because you want to pick an easy name so you can, when you do a voice activation, it'll use this name. You can also swap your plugs, plug one, plug two. I haven't really tried it out. I believe it switches the maybe the schedule or something. I'm not really sure. You can also turn on, turn on and turn off the status LED. 
I basically turn it off once I completed the setup because I didn't find any use to having that LED light on. You can also see the device info, the time zone, location, device time. You can also see the Wi-Fi network that's connected to. And you can also see the strength of that Wi-Fi network. Suppose you connect it away uh, as far as 300 feet. I haven't really tested that. It'll also tell you the model number, this is the KP400, it's on hardware version 1.0 and the firmware is 1.0.10 so not much really changed, it pretty much worked right out of the factory. Here's the schedule, so here's the, the, the only con that I have with the device. You're only allowed 31 entries, so if you're planning to do 15 minutes on, 15 minutes off, you're not going to have enough room. So basically, the only way I found a way to get around it is do 45 minutes on and 45 minutes off during the daylight time. And then during the night, when after midnight, I usually do 30 minutes on and 1 hour off. That's the only way I could get within that 31 entry limit. You also have a ability to set a timer. I haven't really used it, especially in hydroponics. You could also do away. Let's say you decide to go on vacation or something came up where you have to turn it off for an extensive amount of time. And you can also repeat it throughout the week. And last but not least, you have the runtime. With my uh, schedule, I you see that my the daily average is about 9.75 hours on for a total run time for uh, 68.2 hours for the past seven days and the past 30 days you can see that basically I haven't changed the schedule at all and whatever the schedule that it's on right now it's been working perfectly fine for my plan so I pretty much left it just in case it decides the weather gets hotter I'm gonna probably increase the I guess runtime for the water so the plants can stay hydrated but I haven't seen any adverse effects from the plants so I'm gonna pretty much stick with the schedule so once you basically have your names of your smart plugs named properly you could go, go ahead and set up the voice command which I'll show you shortly so to complete the voice activation you really need to have it set up on Google assistant or series so in this demonstration, I'm going to use Google Assistant. So here you already see that the aeroponics tower and the NFT hydroponics array installed. So I'll show you how to install it. So you go basically you go to the top left corner to the plus button right here. And once you have your application set up, you can install it onto Google Assistant. What you do is go to set up device and then set up new devices in your home. And select the home and hit next and since I already have it installed it's not going to find anything but the setup is pretty straightforward and intuitive especially once you have all your device named so I recommend that you have those devices named already in your Kazaa app once you have your smart plugs set up on Google Assistant it should appear in Google Home I recommend that you give it easy names for your hydroponics don't do anything complicated, I would avoid it because it would be much harder for a Google Assistant to understand your voice command. If you found the information in this video informative and useful, hit the like button. If you want to see more contents like this, hit the subscribe button. And if you have any thoughts, comments, or suggestions, put it in the section below. I'd love to hear back from you guys. Until next time, happy gardening and peace out.